Adele, <laughs> we are recording and I'm so excited you're here. <laughs> we finally got Hi, to Paula. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think a lot of my friends know who you are already, but um, for those who don't, do you want to just share a little bit about how we met? Okay, so we met when our babies were little. Actually, we met on the bus on the way to Tong Chung, and I was going oh, shopping or something, and you had sin in the pram, and everyone was just pushing past you to get off the bus, and I offered to help you get off the bus, and you said that was so kind because no one ever offers. They just push past you, which they were. And then I said... Um, I know what it's like because I have a little one too and we started chatting and I told you about my adoption of Ethan and then we connected and swapped numbers and then we found out that we had a friend in common, Claire. Oh wow, I can't believe you remember that. I Honestly, I did not remember that story at all. <laughs> so that's amazing. I'm so glad. And my memory is terrible. <laughs> I know. Clearly, I really, I can't clearly, you remember clearly, that. clearly this job is much better than uh, the, like, we give it to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so what, what, why we're here is we just want to talk to um, everyone and share about your experience with the Jump Start. And I love your space. We've been really working together to try to get you to the place that you're at now. So, and we've done it. So, it, to me, it feels super fast. So, um, I'm just going to get started with some questions for you. So, question number one is what made you decide to jump in? Well, um, I've had a lot of bad health and um, I follow you on your um, several different um, Facebook groups of, about health and the hoopla oils and stuff. And I've used things with you before and um, I saw it come up and it talked about like getting rid of inflammation and pain. And um, I have a lot of that. Um, and also like it's helped people with, with weight. Um, so a little bit of a background for me, I had bone on bone um, arthritis in my hip and had to have a hip replacement surgery um, in July last year after walking around with a really painful hip for almost four years. Um, it finally happened, changed my life, thank goodness. Um, but um, I didn't know about jump stop then I also have bone on bone arthritis in my right knee um, which only after doing about 7,000 steps does it actually come into play of any form of pain anymore which is remarkable because normally I'd wake up in the morning and I just would barely walk um, and I also have fibromyalgia and that is something that's I'm sure a lot of people that do have it and know about it know that it's really hard to live with um, when I got diagnosed, I was just like, oh, come on, not another thing. Um, but when I heard about the inflammation um, stories of people with, with fibromyalgia um, reducing or like completely disappearing um, with the jump start, I was like, I have to try this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I've gained so much weight over the years as well from being immobile from the pain. Mm -hmm. um, pain is just a horrible, horrible thing. And I just have too much of it. So I thought, you know what, what have I got to lose? Like mm -hmm. you try it for 11 days and see what happens. And if it works for you, great. And you carry on. And if it doesn't, then you're back to where you were. I mean, yeah. nothing, uh, nothing lost, you know, like lots, lots to gain. So yeah, so I'm, I was going to do the one in January, then I was like, no, I'm going to wait and see what, uh, you know, what the sort of comeback is from people. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw the results, I was like, I got to do this. So yeah. And you did, you said yes. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> so I think you've already addressed what it's done for you. I mean, if you want to add anything else uh, to that question, I think you kind of already answered it. But if you have anything else to add in terms of what it's done for I you, I have lots to add. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Let me stop you now. Um, I just can't believe by changing your diet and just using Ningxia um, in your diet can make such a huge difference to your well-being and to your health. It, it's it's absolutely mind blowing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've heard about you using it for, for a while and stuff, but obviously um, you've been drinking it without without doing the whole um, jumpstart 11 days. But to go back to that whole primal living um, and, you know, get lots of things out of your 
like detox your body basically um by by going back to um a really basic diet um is it's just amazing food today is just full of rubbish and the food industry should be held accountable for that yeah but um they're not so we have to work away around it so um by doing the jump start um my inflammation has definitely reduced. I still, still, I still have some, but I have been taking medication for 17 years. Um, I was taking um, 20 painkillers a day for the last four years um, for my hip, my knees, my fibro. And now I'm doing the jump start. Just after one month of doing jump start, I went down to taking six a day. And after three months of doing the jump start, I am down to two painkillers a day. So amazing. the proof is in the pudding. I mean, it is just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I and the pain that I still have is purely down to the inflammation that's in my body because of all the medication buildup in my body. And I've learned that That'll from happen. you every time. Sorry? You'll get there. That'll happen. Well, that's why I'm still doing it. You know, um, I'm on my last day today um, of this Yay. this month, and I'm about to put my order in for my next uh, oh, wow. lot of ninja and things for May's jump out. I don't even know when it starts, but I'm ready. <laughs> and I mean, basically, you do, I mean, you know, you know how it runs, so you can do it anytime. But if you want to do yeah. it, with the community, I think the next one is on May 15th. But I just wanted to say to you, and I have to say this: you've inspired me because I know what you were going through when we first started talking. And, you know, every day we were messaging each other back and forth and, and you were excited about finding, you know, making all these discoveries about foods. And you were, you know, as fast as I could count, you would be sending me a picture about, oh, what about this? What about this? You were so excited. And what was great about that is not only were you excited, you were, you started craving those foods. You were, you were talking, you were, I, I, this is so good. Oh my God, this is so delicious. And, and it was just so exciting to see you passionate about food. <laughs> like I yeah. am. You know, you become obsessed with good food yeah. and you start to want more of this good because you feel so good. And immediately after 11 days, you know what happens if you go to a back to food that is not good for your body it speaks to you really. well I haven't I haven't gone back at all um I I basically follow um the paleo diet uh, about 90 percent outside of the um 11 days yeah. um the only things I change is that occasionally I'll have a, a few grains like corn and um you know beans and uh sometimes rice or something but even then I've gone to um uh, sweet potato rice which I love <laughs> No, we're, so, having um, we're having cauliflower rice tonight <laughs> oh lovely um yeah just it's just you know I'm the kind of person if I'm going to do something I'm going to do it right and mm -hmm. if I'm going to put a lot of money and time and effort into it then you, you, you know why would you stop mm -hmm. um because if I then go back outside of the 11 days to just eating normally again mm -hmm. then I'm undoing all the work that I've done and I'm never going to get fully, you know, um, painless, which is what my goal is yeah. um, to to do. So I don't care how long it takes uh, to go from 20 painkillers down to two in three months. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get there. You know, it's just I've got to get get through all of the years and years and years of medications, plus obviously from surgery and things like that and antibiotics and what have you. But I don't think I've ever felt as healthy. I definitely have a lot more energy. I sleep amazingly, like I would say six out of seven nights. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping between two and five hours a night um before that because of the pain um I have something called zero zero I can't even say it properly basically dry mouth syndrome from taking so much medication over the years yeah. um 
and I slept my first night about halfway through the night only, only but we'll get there um, mm -hmm. without any saliva tablets or anything on my mouth because normally I have to. I normally have to have gum in my mouth all the time for lubrication. I now talking without any, um, mm -hmm. which is just so good. I know. Um, yeah, like, you know, when your whole mouth just dries up and you can't talk. Um, so yeah, I just really, I can't even, I can't fault it in any way. Like it's just, it's changed my life in such a positive way. Um, and I've been, you know, sharing that story with friends and I'm hoping that, you know, they can see the differences and um, they will. maybe they'll, they'll uh, mm -hmm. decide to do it too but you know it's up to them you can't you can't make someone do something that they don't want to do someone's got to be ready but I was ready and you've been such an amazing support system to me um, it's been like, really fun doing this journey with you because you know you are so responsive and into this that it excites me to see you excited and it's exciting to hear about your progress and 2023 is chalking up to be super amazing for you. I, you know, like you'll send me messages. I just got a new blender. Oh, I just got a new job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's like oh, I just got a new car. <laughs> I just got a new car. <laughs> it's been exciting for me. It all happened in one week. It was just amazing. I went out and bought lottery tickets, but I didn't win. But hey ho. <laughs> Um, okay, so the other question I had for you was what, what I think what was the biggest surprise you may have already mentioned it, but maybe you can just highlight what that was for you. Um, for me, I would say energy, um, not feeling like you just you're just feeling like rubbish all the time, um, feeling like weighted down and groggy. Mm -hmm. um, and even I think after three months, I think my attitude towards everything has also changed. Um, um, I think I'm more positive than I was before. Um, and I mean, just it just has so many, it's just so hard to like narrow it down to, to, to one. I mean, I feel like my hair has got thicker and, and, and better and my nails, my skin, it, it's I can skin feel soft do you find find your skin feel yeah. soft? yeah 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 just just so many so many things you know um and then I just can't believe it can just come from just changing your diet and and mm -hmm. adding pure and and good foods to it and enriching your body you know it's just amazing well, so and, oh sorry oh. sorry what did you say no 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 I, I want to I want to listen to you keep going oh um I was just going to say it it's changed the way I look at food so much mm -hmm. that when I go to the supermarket, there are hours I don't even go down. And if I do go down them, I'm like, oh, poison, poison. <laughs> you know, it, it is. That's how I see it. And even like, you know, I have a 13 year old. What have we done to you? What have we done? And he still obviously wants to eat like a teenager and all the rest of it. Um, but I'm trying to find like alternative things that are like healthy from or, or make them um making uh chocolate brownies with with banana cacao and nut butter and it's like a chocolate cake to him and he's like chocolate cake yeah you know I've just got to work on the icing sugar because I, I the icing the like yeah, yeah. butter icing kind of thing because yeah. um I can make it but it's got coconut in it and he doesn't like coconut like so it. I'll get there um but um but yeah like just looking at food in such a different way like you know he's you know it was easter and he had all this chocolate like he had so much chocolate given to him from easter and i didn't crave it at all i looked at it and just thought so bad for me so that's just so poisonous um i just look at when that brain when it, it almost feels like you have clarity a lot of people who write to me who aren't doing this really for weight but just to get their energy back to just describe that they almost feel like they're thinking clearly now which is really interesting it's almost like this brain fog has lifted and you know I still have a lot of brain fog from my fibromyalgia I'm not going to lie um but it has definitely improved yeah. I mean yeah 
to remember how we met. I mean, hello. <laughs> I have no, I honestly, there is not a chance that I would have remembered that. I am absolutely amazed that you are, you told me that story today because <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought you would have come up with some other story, but that, that just blows me away. Um, just knowing, you know, you know, you and how you explained, you know, your brain fog is just so bad. How you remember that, I have no idea. Well, <laughs> I will wrap this up with you with uh, one last question. And um, I think you already touched on this about you sharing with your friends. And because when you feel good, you want other people to feel that way, right? If you see them oh, not yeah. feeling well, or they're sick and they're suffering, the, you just in the back of your mind, you, you just want to go do the jump start, do the jump start. It's only going to take 11 days and you're going to feel amazing. Um, so what would you say to someone who's thinking about going, you know, yes to the jump start? Don't even hesitate. Just do it. I mean, it sounds like a Nike advert really, doesn't it? But <laughs> seriously, like just do it. It is 11 days anyone can do something for 11 days I've heard people say oh no I couldn't do that for 11 days I couldn't give up this for 11 days trust me if I can do it you can do it because I used to just eat rubbish all the time I and I used to binge on chocolate and and crisps and all the bad things that now I look at and just go oh poison um but no seriously 11 days what have you got to lose it is just just do it 100 do it and you will see and just the test don't test how do you say the word testimony, testimony. <laughs> that's the word i was going to say something wrong with them Woo. um yeah just from other people and in the group and just seeing people's before and after photos if they put them on and um just what people are writing about you know they go to see the doctor and the doctor says you know oh wow i can't believe how much this has changed and it's a given yeah people you, know, you see that and that motivates you because you're like well that can happen people. for them yeah, it can happen for me. So I'm going to have blood tests with my doctor hopefully um, next week. Um, a bit slow here, a bit slow here. Um, I'm still in the process of trying to arrange them. Um, it's all, you know, it's all automated and stuff. So, um, and yeah, I'm just hoping Adele, that people might not know that you're now in the UK. Oh, yes, yes. I am now in the UK. Yes. Hence the reason yeah. it's a bit slow. <laughs> um so I'm also on um blood thinners um because I had a pulmonary embolism 15 years ago and I was told I needed to be on them for life um but recently um because of doing this whole thing and I'm feeling so much better I decided well maybe he can lower my dose um so it's not so potent um I was on warfarin which is basically rat poison um i'm now on um a different one called rivaroxaban um which is not as severe as as rat poison um but yeah i mean obviously i would like to lower it um as much as possible try and get rid of medication well, your, your story is i just wake up and i smile every time you message me <laughs> honestly i <laughs> i love the journey it's been so inspirational for me to watch you honestly and I just want to say congratulations on your new job, which you've got a job. Can I, can I tell people or do you want to tell people about your new job? No, you go yeah. ahead. <laughs> so Adele's got a job at her son's uh, school, which is exciting. Um, and I loved, I asked her, well, she told me about the interview. And when you told me about the interview, you said, you know, I can't believe it. I had to do, I had to teach a math lesson and I had to bend down and teach and I had no pain. And I almost started to cry when you said that, because for me, it was like, oh, like, you know, everything happens for a reason, right? If yeah. you don't have health, then all the- Well, yeah, I mean, I had so much, I had, I still have um, stiffness in my body from the fibromyalgia. That's one of my like worst parts of the fibro, um, along with the pain, but, but definitely the stiffness. Um, and I couldn't, I could no, never get down on the floor the last couple of years with with the kids and I did this math lesson on the floor and that was my choice which is kind of a bit silly when I think about it but um yeah I, I managed job. to like get, get down on the floor and I, my mobility was just so much better and I was just like oh my gosh I can't believe it I actually got down on the floor and back up again <laughs> and no one noticed that I was struggling um, 
well I wasn't struggling but you know what I mean but anyway yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean that 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 for me was one of my highlight moments with you it was really exciting because I just thought oh you know th this was it it was kind of like everything that you said yes to has taken you to the next step of where you're going and what's happening and and so I'm so excited about how, how 2023 is going to unfold for you. And on that note, I'm going to raise my water yes. bottle to you <laughs> and say congratulations. And thank you so thank much you. for doing this uh, video as, so that we can just let people know about what's happening and, you know, real life stories from people that, you know, a lot of our mutual friends uh, know you, know me. And I think that's very powerful. So thank you, Adal. My pleasure. Thank you for interviewing me. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, I'm gonna sign off. Okay, bye. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>